Um, is it permissible for male da'is who are making street da'wah to give da'wah to non-Muslim women who are in interested in asking about and hope that they will be convinced about Islam and convert to it, inshallah? This is an issue of dispute. And it revolves around the pros and cons. Someone who is young, not married, full of youth and energy, attempts to make such da'wah, we would say, nope, refrain. The fitna is far greater. Someone who is flirtious, he's very humorous, and he talks to non-mahram women, and he cracks jokes, and they laugh their heads off, and he's having a good time, they're having a good time, though he's okay. He's married, maybe he is um, well protected. Yet the way that is being used is un-Islamic. Stay away. Someone who is a mature sheikh, someone of knowledge who lowers his gaze and he has appropriate knowledge, this is okay and permissible. Why do we have to segregate? Because everything in Islam is judged by the conclusion and the consequences. You don't judge something by the face value. You have to see what will happen afterwards. So people say that something happened here and something happened there. We did this, we did that. No. A group of mobs killed a woman in Nigeria because she slandered the Prophet ﷺ or depicted him or said something bad. They're sinful. Isn't there law in the country? Isn't there a Muslim judge, a Muslim ruler? How can you take the law into your own hands? You're all sinful. Yeah, Sheikh, but she was a disbeliever. She was a non-Muslim, even though this is not a jungle. So you judge things by the consequences, not by the process itself. And therefore, if a person is, likewise, a woman says, Sheikh, I'm in my hijab and I want to give street da'wah to men. I said, whoa, no. This is not permissible because the way and the consequences are not in your favor nor in the favor of Islam and Islam doesn't need this. So this is why you have to look and uh, judge every situation uh, by a uh, uh, case-by-case scenario.